Hi, recently we have, I've come across that uh, the fad of intermittent fasting or water fasting or fasting of some sort, it seems to be the fad in terms of diet. Prior to this, it was keto diet and prior to that, it was Atkins diet. And at one point, it was also vegetarian or vegan diets. And if you're one to exercise, then it could be a protein diet, something that is full of protein with hardly any carbo, or it could, and the protein could be, some people subscribe to a meat-based protein and others subscribe to non-meat, non-animal-based protein. So what, what diet is best for you? I believe that uh, as long as you refrain from eating too much because I don't think we need a lot. I mean, the fact that we are overweight is a very clear, clear indication that we're eating too much and food is too readily available for us for indulgence. So as long as we refrain from overeating, the best, uh, the best diet for us is one that you strongly believe in and that is consistent and uh, is... Uh, is consistent with your beliefs, congruent with what you believe in. As long as it's congruent and it works for you, I think you can go ahead it's, and do whatever suits you. Hi, my name is Gerard and what I do in this channel is I read a portion of the Bible and my intention is to take examples of how Jesus led and use it as leadership principles in today's uh, circumstances. And for today, the reading is taken from the book of Mark chapter 2 verses 18 to 22. One day John's disciples and the Pharisees were fasting. Some people came and said to Jesus, why is it that John's disciples and the disciples of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not? Jesus replied, Surely the bridegroom attendants would never think of fasting while the bridegroom is still with them. As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they could not think of fasting. But the time will come for the bridegroom to be taken away from them, and then on that day they will fast. No one sews a piece of unshrunken cloth with an old cloak. If he does, the patch pulls away from it, and the new from the old, and the tear gets worse. And nobody puts new wine into old wineskins. If he does, the new wine will burst the skins, and the wine is lost, and the skins too. No, new wine, fresh skins. The Gospel of the Lord. So, I think we can learn from this passage that it is not what we put in that matters, but how much we put in matters to me. I, I believe that is true. And uh, so... I don't think we should be so concerned about the diet. What should we be concerned about is what is our belief? Where is our faith? What is congruent to what we have read and what we know? And as long as we do that and we don't know we I think we are good to go. My thought for today, a very good morning.